Hi guys, it's Janet Wicklin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we are going to be looking at the different types of stamps that Stampin' Up! offers. If you have a new catalog, the 2014 catalog that looks like that, Stampin' Up! has information on page 4 about their different types of stamps. And I love how they call it Choose Your Own Stamp Adventure. I tend to be a bit of a thrill seeker and a little bit of an adrenaline junkie, and so the word adventure kind of makes my heart pound. But Stampin' Up! does have three different main types of stamps. They're clear mount, they're wood mount, they're photopolymer stamps, and then they do have a specialty stamp, a rotary stamp. Everything that I show you is available for purchase. As a demonstrator, I do have an online store, and the catalog is also um, my storefront. If you don't have a demonstrator that you work with and would love a catalog so that you can shop anytime that you would like, you can contact me at RemarkablyCreated.com as well as you can contact me at Janet at RemarkablyCreated.com. So let's take a look at the different kinds of stamps. First and foremost, Stampin' Up's main stamp, which was the one that the company was built it on, is their wood mount stamps. Many times their wood mount stamps, actually all times Stampin' Up's wood mount stamps, will come in a wider, thicker wood mount case. Their photopolymer stamps and their clear mount stamps will come in the narrow case that you see here. But it's nice because they are both the same length, and so they will sit nicely on your shelf whether you stack them or stand them upright, but they will fit together. Wood mount stamps, and let's go ahead and, um, let me put this one aside. I want to get you a different one because that one's already assembled. Wood mount stamps come with the blocks that you need. They come with the rubber images, and they come with the, with the labels. You simply just go ahead and pop them out and you just take out the images and then you're going to find the right size block that they coordinate with and you just kind of sometimes have to play around just a little bit to make sure that you have them and let's just go ahead and grab them all some people like to save this rubber for other craft purposes or whatever that's going to be up to you and then once you have um, the block the label the stamps punched out Sometimes I personally like to take a pair of Kraft and Rubber scissors, heavy sturdy scissors, and just do a little extra snipping. What I have found is in areas where there's a larger piece of rubber right here, sometimes you can catch what we call shadows or little lines around your image. And so sometimes I like to take a pair of snips and just make a little cut and get that little extra out. The rest of it is cut nice. Stampin' Up's rubber stamps have a very nice deep image. They take ink very well. They have a nice foam matting. There is a backing on them that you want to peel off. And you're going to take your image. Some Now again, you have choices. Some people like to center their image right on the block. When I'm working with wood stamps, I like to put mine down in the lower right hand corner. And when I stamp, I simply tip my head to the side and my stamp is aligned on the left edge and the bottom edge and I don't need to worry about a stamp of majig or something like that, but that's a personal preference. And again, some people prefer to take their stamps and mount them right in the center. You can see that I peeled that up easily. That's because I hadn't really sealed it down tight. Once you seal it down tight, the real only way to remove that image and reposition it is to put it in the microwave for a few minutes, a few minutes, excuse me, a few seconds, usually 15 to 30 seconds. Be very cautious when you remove the block from the microwave. Wood is a great conductor of heat and it could be very hot to the touch so be very careful. But what that will do is it will loosen the adhesive and give you a chance to reposition the stamp if you don't like where it's at on the block. One of the other things again that I mentioned is it does come with these labels and you're going to want to simply then just take your label off and put it on the stamp. You want to try to get it as close to where the image is at because again, this is going to show you where the stamp is underneath of that wood block. One of the things that I love about Stampin' Up! stamps is that they are made in Kanab, Utah. And the DVD cases are also made in Kanab, Utah. And so that means that when you purchase our stamps, you are supporting American industries that are truly made right here in America. So you can see you get this beautiful image. And all I did was tap it on the ink and then just press it. There are some things that are great accessories to the stamps that are nice to own. And one of them is our Stampin' Scrub. It is a great container. 
that has two different kind of raised brushed surfaces. And what you're able to do is you can take Stampin' Mist, which is a cleaner, and spray it on one side. And you can scrub your stamp across. And then you can dry it on the other side, and then that just cleans it for you. So the scrubbing pad is something that's nice to invest in when you want to start to clean your stamps and make them look great and help to preserve the life of them. What I simply do is I take this to the sink and I rinse it with water until it runs clear and then I just stand it in the dish drainer and let it dry and then I'm ready to work with it. So again, the Stampin' Scrub and the Stampin' Mist are nice accessories to have alongside of your stamps. And all of that is found in our Stampin' Up! catalog. So that's our wood mount stamps. Really nice, high quality, deep grooved red rubber. Just a little trivia for you about the stamps and the red rubber. Um, when Stampin' Up! is trimming them and making them, all of that excess little rubber that comes off of the stamps, they chip that up and they do um, either donate it to playgrounds or they also sell it in bags for playgrounds. So there's a beautiful playground that um, is filled with all of this red rubber right in the town where the stamps are made. So it's kind of fun. So a little trivia for you. Another stamp choice that Stampin' Up! has is what they call their clear mount stamps. Now right away you will notice that the camp, camp stamp, case is thinner and there are no blocks with these. With these you're going to use something called our clear blocks and I'll show you those in just a second. But just as with our wood stamps you get our high quality red rubber that is very deeply etched so you're going to get nice images just like you did with the others. You're going to go ahead and pull all of your stamps apart and even though this isn't technically a stamp I would save this because it's a great image. A little tip for you I like to take my backing off like this and then I like to go ahead and place it down in my case and it will stay there and that way I know where my stamps go. It kind of holds them in place in the case so that they're not loose. And if I'm working in a group or doing something I can easily quickly look at the set and know that something's missing. So you've got your different images like that. In addition you have labels to work with. There are two schools of thought on the labels. Some demonstrators love to use their labels again so they know what the stamp is. And then there are some of us who think that the labels don't allow the stamps to adhere as um, easily or as snugly as um, they could to the clear blocks. I personally am not a clear label um, attacher. And so what I do is I simply take my clear labels and I put them in the back of the sleeve right here and then they are there if I decide to sell them or pass them on to somebody else. So now let's take a look at how you would use our clear mount stamps. Let's take this one and what we're going to do is again it has a backing on it but the difference is this is not sticky and is not intended to permanently stick to anything else. This is our foam rubber and what you're going to work with is another one of our stamp accessories and we have these great clear blocks you can buy our clear block starter set. You can buy just one block or you can buy the entire set. And when you buy the entire set, there's also this nice handy storage case to work with with your stamps. And what you're going to do, the nice thing about the clear blocks, again, is that they are clear. Unlike the wood, you can't see through them. And you're going to take your stamp. Where did it go? Right here. And we're going to press it down. And since I don't use my labels, what I always do is I ink it up and I stamp it on a piece of practice paper to see if it's going the way that I want it to go. And again, you can see where our clear mount stamps give a beautiful impression just like the wood mount stamps do. And then to clean these, it's the same thing that we did with the wood. You're going to use your Stampin' Scrub, rub it across after you've moistened it with Stampin' Mist, and then you're going to use it on the other side to dry it off just a little bit. And then you can put it back in its case. So those are our clear mount stamps. Let's take a look at our new photopolymer stamps. Well, they're actually not that new. Stampin' Up's been introducing them to a while for us. And photopolymer stamps are clear the whole way through. Our photo photopolymer stamps are age tested, which means that they will not yellow or crack and get brittle for you. They are extremely sticky and adhesive, um, as an adhesive almost. And what's nice about the photopolymer stamps, this is a row of dots. So we've got that piece here. Let me just grab a piece of cardstock and we'll ink it up. 
and we'll just put that border across. So you can see where I have a row of dots across there, open circles rather, not dots. Dots are solid, Miss Janet. And let's grab another one. And now you're going to notice when I work with this one that it has a pink tint to it. One of the downfalls of the photopolymer is that they will stain, but it doesn't affect the image. If I stamped it right now, you can see there's absolutely nothing showing up right there. And I actually like to tell my customers that when they're stained, that means that I personally, as their demonstrator, did a great job. That means that they are using their stamps. I taught them how to use their stamps, and they're comfortable with them. When they are really, really clean like that, that means that you bought the stamp and you never used it. And we want you creating and making beautiful things. So let's go ahead and ink that up. And now I can look down over the circles that I just put. Note to self, Jan, in future videos, wear your bifocals. And so I've got my little dots then lined up with the circles. To clean this, I would do the same thing. I would just go ahead and I would scrub it across. And I would have it just like that. Now, one of the benefits of the clear stamps is that you're able to do some fun things. We can go ahead and take these and we can simply shape them a little bit. And how you shape them, this kind of almost looks like a hockey stick, <laughs> um, is up to you. But you can go ahead and you can shape them, which is going to give you some fun things. And this specific stamp here is how I did the rainbow on this card. I went ahead and just kind of gave it a little bit of a wide U shape. And then I just cleaned it each time as I added the colors. So that's one of the fun things of our photopolymer stamps, is that you can indeed take them and give them a little bit of... A shape. Now I'll clean that block in just a second, of course, and I've got it all over my fingers. But you can give it a fun shape and you can work with it. One of the other features and benefits of our photopolymer stamps is when we're working with our alphabets. And so here you can see that, again, our alphabet stamps are, are photo, photopolymer based. And let's take that off of this. And let's take here for just a second and let's do S W and an E and a T so I've got the word sweet the other thing is we have a lot of greeting sets and a lot of times you can put multiple words um, on one block to make a full sentence or a full greeting so you can put some together. So S W E and we're going to just lay the T down for just a second as a space holder. Okay, give me an idea where I want this one to be. And we've got T. Technically an E would be in there because of the word sweet, but I'm just kind of showing you one of the benefits, features and benefits of our photopolymer. And so now I'm going to go ahead and stamp. So I've got, looks like I'm trying to make, who knows, I'm playing um, Wheel of Fortune. Miss Vanna, give us a letter. So we're going to go ahead now, we'll take those off, and we'll simply put the E back on our block. And I can go back in and I can add that E where it's missing. And that's much easier to do with the, with the photopolymer stamps because you can see them the whole way through. Now I will give you a little secret. I am a very lazy stamper. And so I love to own two of the alphabet stamps so I don't have to do what I just showed you. But I do respect the fact that um, sometimes we're on a budget or sometimes there are so many stamps that we really just want to own one of every one of them. And so that's how you would do that is that you can line them up. And again, you can put... Um, several different words together on a block all at one time and lay them down. You can lay a bunch of random stamps on your block and stamp it and get a really cool background as well. Let me show you another type of stamp. We'll just leave that clear block out for just a second. These are our really large background stamps and these are designed to fully cover what's called an A2 greeting card. An AT greeting card is your standard greeting card 
that you see in the store and that um, we as demonstrators teach you how to make and that our envelopes are sized for. So let's go ahead and look at this stamp. You will see again that it is a very large stamp and let's go ahead and take the backing off of that and let me move this aside grab my really large clear block we have a block that is large enough for this stamp and this one we're going to use a little bit differently because of its size we're going to leave it rubber side up Oops, there's my tea I don't want to lose that and I'll clean all of those later don't panic that I didn't clean them but I think I showed you how to do that once you don't need to watch me clean all of my stamps so we're going to leave it rubber side up we're going to take our ink pad and we're going to go ahead and we're going to ink it up with the rubber side facing us and make sure you can cover it. Get it covered the whole way around. And I'm going to continue to leave. Oops, I can see where I missed a little bit right there. There we go. And I'm going to continue to leave it rubber side up because I have small hands. And then until I turn it over and try to hit the entire card, it's a little challenging. So I'm going to leave it rubber side up. I'm going to take my card and I'm going to lay it right down on top of that big background image. I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to lay it over top of it to potentially keep my fingers clean. I managed to get ink on me anyway. We're just going to give it a good rub and what's nice about that is I can rub all the areas and now I'm going to flip that over and now you can see that beautiful lacy background that I created with a big background stamp. So those are our big background stamps. And then I mentioned that Stampin' Up! does indeed have a specialty stamp and these are our rotary stamps and they're I call them a rotary stamp because you can rotate the letters and the images on them and we have a couple of different ones of these and these are great because you can this one especially it's got every letter of the alphabet it's got all of the numbers and it's got fun little images and things like that and I have no clue what it says right now because I was just twisting them around but you're simply going to ink it up on a pad and I just kind of back and forth just a little bit, but you've got your little letters going across it. And so that's our rotary stamp. So just as a reminder, Stampin' Up! has specialty stamps called rotary stamps. We have our clear mount stamps, and some of them are very large background stamps. We have our big, beautiful wood stamps. This one is one of them here. And I just put this in the case. But again, you've got your big, beautiful wood stamps. And then we also have our clear mount stamps that don't have a block with them. And then we also have stamp accessories. We have our Stampin' Scrub Pad. Oops, excuse me. And we have our Stampin' Mist, which will help con um, clean and condition your stamps. And you will just rinse this off in the sink and then let it sit um, to drain. And then we also have, where did I move them to? We have our clear blocks and we have a starter kit. We have individual blocks and then we have the full set and then we have this handy storage case for those of you that like to take your stamps on the go or like to have them in one nice neat little place. These logos on the front aren't included. This was just something fun that I added to mine so that I would have them when I'm using them at crops and places like that. A little bit of marketing for me. So real quick, let me just flash a couple of samples in front of you. This was the um, one that I already showed you with the rainbow and the clear photopolymer. This is another border stamp. It was supposed to be more straight than that, and I kind of twisted a little bit so that I gave it more of a viney look to it. And then this is a big, this is a wood stamp, and this is our big, beautiful new peacock stamp. One of my customers on my Facebook page asked that I play with the peacock stamp, and so I did that with some samples for you. So take a look at the description of this video to find out different ways that you can follow me, how you can get your hands on the catalog, and how you can shop for anything that you saw in this video today. So take care, and God bless. Thank you for watching the One Take Wonder video tonight. Good night.